you thanks for joining us after uh, this really significant cup victory for Wraith Rovers 3 0 against their uh, local rivals. It's a big one, isn't it? Oh, it was brilliant. Um, a really good game to be a part of. I think first half, you know, they knocked the ball, uh, the ball a bit well without Robbie's did a great save. But other than that, I didn't think they really caused us that many problems um, at the back anyway. And then second half, you know, obviously with them getting the man sent off, it was probably a big turning point in the game. But from, you know, it's no easy always to go and take advantage of that. And I thought we certainly did that. And, you know, three good goals. And I thought in the end up, well, well worth a win. Did you, have, uh, did you have an eye on any of the kind of key incidents? Or was your position too far away in terms of the, the penalty decision and the sending off? No, well, obviously I put the ball in for the for the penalty. And from where I was, you know, it was just, I saw dogs kind of peeling off the, the side of Dunham and, I think his movements lost them, um, and I thought from where I was when I when I put it in that there was definite contact. I think it was just a bit clumsy for the big man. Um, and again with the, the sending off from where I was, I was kind of breaking forward at the time. Again, it just looked to be a bit clumsy. Um, I thought dogs got away from him, and I thought that was in the second half something he did really well. Um, you know, he offered a lot in behind for us and kind of stretched the game. And I felt ultimately they couldn't they couldn't really handle him at that. And you know, I thought it was a red card as well. Hat trick for Louis Vaughan. Um, the boy's got confidence and talent, hasn't he? I feel, you know, we all know he's capable of that. Um, sometimes I think the wee man just needs to believe in himself a wee bit more. And, you know, I think he was, he was unbelievable today. And you know, somebody said to me there, it's maybe the best game they've seen him. But you know, it's no surprise to the boys. And um, long may it continue. No goal for yourself today. We've got used to using that goal gift week in and week out. What was that about? Uh, I got in there as well. At one point, um, I think I, I kind of had a wee break of the ball a couple of times. And I th- uh, to be fair, I thought I had less time than I probably did. And you know, I just stuck a, a toe at it, and it's just went by the post. But you know, I'm just happy to be to be involved in, in a couple of the goals today um, and the win. You know, the main thing's the win and the clean sheet. But you know, it's nothing to do with me. I thought Davos had an unbelievable block in the second half. Um, to you know, now now, Robbie's obviously kept his hand up with a great save. And you know, for me, the clean sheet was the most pleasing thing. And I thought, as a back forward, we looked. You know, there was balls in the box and we were having to defend it at times. And I thought we did that really well. So you know, that's the most pleasing thing for me was the clean sheet. But. I thought all over the park to a man, we were excellent and you know, I thought we thoroughly deserved the win. We, we often hear uh, football people saying that you've got to play the game and not the occasion. Is, is that hard when you've got 6,013 people here, both ends absolutely jumping? Aye, no, it's something that I really enjoyed. Um, it's something that probably players like to see a wee bit more. Um, you know, it would be nice if the fans could, could come and bring a pal or something when they're coming to the league games or whatever, but um, the atmosphere certainly helped us. You know, we were right up for it and for all the first half there was we kind of sticky spells at certain times. You know, the fans were right behind us and, and the boys always appreciated that. And I think in the second half, once they got the red card and everyone was kind of, you know, we had a bit of confidence about it, that really showed. I was uh, saying off mate there that I've been speaking to a pal of yours who uh, gave you the uh, unfortunate nickname of Lego Heed and Trampoline Heed. Well, I think the clean sheet uh, might put him back in his place. Aye, well, you know, I saw uh, a clip of Rory last week. Um, I don't know if he want to talk about it that much, but... Lego, he think he was playing my blindfold on. If you if you've seen that goal, they conceded. I know he had a big part to play in it, so obviously I'd like to know what his thoughts were on that. We'll pick that one up. But uh, what about a word for the the fans? Because uh, you're even the the, the post match warm down. You've got such a warm reception there. This means it means a massive amount to, to local people. The bragging rights are really significant. I definitely, you know, um, as players, I thought I think that the fans are probably the sole ones this season, and we have as. As players and obviously the gaffer and smudger and the coaching staff have had a couple with the East Fife results, but you know, not that it puts it all right, and you know, we've still obviously got a long way to go, but I think it goes some way to putting a couple of bad derby results um, behind us. And the back in the gave us was excellent, and look, all we can ask for is them to stick by us in the league. Um, hopefully, they'll all go home as happy people tonight in the next round, and you know, they've got a bit of excitement to see who we get. <clears throat> hopefully, get a big um, draw the next round, and as I say, just to stay with us, and if possible, you know, if they can come out in their numbers, then. It was a massive help for us in the pitch. I'm assuming you'll be sitting down to watch the BBC tonight. Um, the Fife Derby at times is uh, a wee bit overlooked, but uh, you might have the uh, Sky Plus in it tonight. Hi. <laughs> well, I don't know. I've got I've got a wee that watches all sorts of cartoons and that, so I don't really ever see it before. I've got a wee one, but no, I'll definitely have it taped, and um, you know, hopefully they give us a, a decent showing because I think we we merit it that on that performance, and it was just for us. You know, it was a bit of a shame that the game was not was not live on the telly, you know, it was a bit of a baffling one for me, um, but that's the way they went and as I said, all we can do is take care of ourselves and the day we've done that. Ewan, thanks for your uh, performance and uh, passing our regards to the team, excellent uh, to watch the Wraith Rovers fan. No worries, cheers.